So, um, what are we gonna do tonight, O.C.? Well, the same thing we try to do every night, but take her for the words. Uh, I mean, YouTube. Take her by YouTube. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to Obsessive Compulsive Gaming. I am the Obsessive Compulsive Gamer, joined once again. Again, by my faithful manservant slash fucktotem Bertram. Say hello, Bertram. Hello, Bertram. And this is my review for Queenie Army. So, dear viewer, don't you dare forget to subscribe to my channel. Also, please note I am currently recording this review on the toilet. So don't be alarmed by any noises you might hear in the background. Ha. So, <clears throat> Queenie Army was released today for the PlayStation 4 and 5. Uh, why don't you tell us what this game is, Bertram? Uh, but I didn't play it. You did. <sighs> You're a failure, Bertram. Fine. I suppose it once again falls to me to deliver this game review to our beloved viewers. Uh, we have viewers. That's news to me. Shut up, Bertram. <laughs> so, what the hell is Queenie Army? Well, I'm so glad you asked, dear viewer. This is a run-and-gun game in the style of Metal Slug or Gunstar Heroes, just with a lot more vaginas. And speaking of those vaginas, this game has 17 playable characters, all of which are women. Yes. Therefore, I have decided to give this game the nickname Pussy Galore. Um, no, absolutely not. My decision is final, Bertram. This game is now called Pussy Galore, and I will refer to it as such. Oh, kill me now, God. Yes, God. Please kill him now. <clears throat> so, gameplay. Now, like I've already said, this is a run and gun platformer game thingamajig, which means you are going to be spending 80% of your time shooting things and platforming. Uh, what do you do the other 20% of the time? Master, I mean, admire all of the lovely playable characters, of course. Now, there are six stages, with a boss at the end of every one of them. And surprisingly, the villains in this game are all corrupt men, so... The feminists amongst you can rejoice blowing their heads off. Um, <laughs> not that we're saying feminists are a bad thing. Oh, absolutely not. On the contrary, I love feminists. Particularly the lesbian ones. And or the ones who remove their clothes for our entertainment. <laughs> oh, you should have just stopped it. I love feminists. So, what else can I tell you about the game, dear viewer? Uh, oh yes. Now, it took me less time to obtain the platinum trophy in this game than it takes Bertram to open a jar of pickles. Oh, it's hard. That's what she said. Ha ha ha. Sorry. So, this is a fun little run and gun game 
And best of all, if you buy this on the PlayStation Store, you get both the PlayStation 4 and the PlayStation 5 versions of the game. That's two Platinum Trophies you can earn in less time than it takes Bertram to have a normal conversation with a human being. Oh, it's hearts. That's what she said. Ha <laughs> ha. <coughs> Sorry. Therefore, I'm going to give this game a six out of ten. Well, there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. My little review for Pussy Galore. Haha, <laughs> if you enjoyed this little review of mine, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. If you haven't enjoyed it, well then, feel free to give me a thumbs down. Don't you dare forget to like and subscribe to my channel. Feel free to share this video with everyone you know, but... Remember the single most important thing I always tell you, dear viewer, and that is to always stay obsessed with gaming. Ah, say goodbye, Bertram. Goodbye, Bertram. Are you still here? Go away. I'm sure you've got something better to do with your time. No, seriously, piss off, be gone, au revoir, I'll be the same. Bye. What in the hell is wrong with you? Go away, vacate this space. Hit the cross at the top of the screen. The video is done. It's over. It's finito. It's caputo.